Welcome again friends. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about again bioinformatics practicals and we'll be talking about uh, how to use ProSight scan tool because uh, ProSight scan tool is very handy tool which will inform you some important properties of protein like post translational modification. It will predict some post translational modifications to your protein or sometimes it some amount of uh, different domains of your protein different motifs that are present in your protein like leucine zipper or not and all these things now we know those domains are very important because they are conserved they are conserved throughout the evolutionary history and they are doing a particular function of interest throughout of the time so once you know uh, those post translational modifications like methylation sulfide sulfurylation and many different varieties glycosylation many varieties of post translation and modifications it will bring some important fact uh, effect inside the cell so to understand that you need to go to a site called ProSite it's again a part of XPSI tool and we'll be heading towards the ProSite scan so simply type ProSite scan and you will be redirected to scan ProSite uh, so click on scan ProSite link and here we go this is a ProSite and SIB is a uh, Swiss, Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics they are handling this site and ProSight scan tool is very handy because it's not only that but the interface is also very simple you can see the first option is submission of a protein sequence and to scan that against all ProSight collection of motifs you can uh, submit also motifs because you suppose you don't get a whole protein you get only motif you can submit motif to sequence or to find what are the different proteins that are having that motif in this database I can also submit protein sequence and motifs and check for scanning each other whether they're compatible with each other or not so many different uh, way of working it uh, with pro scan ProSight tool now in this case uh, here say you can step one step two there are only three steps to full uh, the form and just send it simply you can paste the sequence you can put uh, the uni uh, uniprot uh, ID and Swiss prot ID here otherwise you can simply put your FASTA format or a raw sequence will also work so I'm having the raw sequence of syntax and that's that's what we are working with simply put it uh, as in the raw sequence format like it and you can go to here like a step 2 is checking everything options like exclude motifs with a slight probability of occurrence so it's a high probability of occurrence so sometimes what happens because there are short six seg short segment of sequences are there they are conserved throughout the protein they do not have a significant meaning through the protein but still they are repeated so in this case checking the box will uncheck those those particular uh, pro motives they will exclude those motives because sometimes you get a wrong result because you you may might, might thought that yes this is the sequence this is the conserved region but it is not it is just repeated because it's very short so it's repeated many a times during a stretch of long protein sequences so if your proteins are long then should not uh, then should check it if your protein is shorter you can uncheck that but because if in short proteins if you check this it might get you you might not get any result so my protein is kind of moderately long 291 base pairs long uh, 291 amino acids long sorry so I can think uh, I can go with it so you can uh, check it and uh, you can just exclude profiles from scan don't want to do this run the scan at high sensitivity so show weak matches for profiles again if your protein are is shorter smaller you can check this run the scan at high sensitivity uncheck this exclude motive this particular thing but uh, in my case I don't require that output format is graphical you can go for simple view text view fasta view obviously select the graphical guys because it's good to understand better to get the knowledge now you can receive uh, your result by mail simply put the mail ID and job number and once the job is done they will mail you that yes your job you're done and a link will be pasted in your mail to click it to redirect to the page of the results I don't want that and actually this type of jobs takes some amount of time in ProSight normally uh, express is faster SIB is fast but this takes some amount of time guys so that's why it's a good idea if you are working uh, in lab in experiments you simply put email and job title so that you can identify the job it is good to go and hit start the scan once you hit the scan it will redirect to the page and the page will be refreshed uh, after certain amount of time some seconds and then uh, after certain time they will give you the result so here we go uh, the scanning uh, is come is, is kind of going on now in this ProSight scan tool you can get many ideas 
can get uh, the, those modifications you can get those uh, those different regions or sections so here we go we get the results and so found two hits in one sequence so this is the sequence and two hits are found in this particular sequence there right so here we can see this is these are the two different hits uh, that we got one is a hit for syntax in here uh, syntax in uh, and another one is for P snare so those are two different hits that we get and we get match with this hit now here we can see that a part particular light is highlighted particular region is highlighted there now once we can see here uh, the legend that 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 is very very important now in this graphical representation the legend means many important things it means the active site if it's an enzyme it means a disulfide bridge uh, present uh, a straight line in green means uh, other ranges and other site is kind of different see here we can see in this particular case the t snare protein is given here the upper case present the match positions the lower case ins uh, insert the positions and that symbol the dash symbol represents the deletion uh, is given here so here we can see the domain 195 257 it's a coil coil homology that we find here the distance from 195 to 257 the score is given you don't need to understand what score and how the score is given that thing is not necessary but the necessary thing is you get a domain that is t snare coiled coil domain now and in this case you get another thing you get uh, the syntaxing and here you won't get any kind of uh, any kind of those uh, those kind of domains here uh, especially uh, but simply uh, you get an uh, understanding that it is having a homology uh, with uh, the T snare protein and the domain is a coiled coil domain so it's not uh, very much surprising because we have uh, done the previous understandings we have done uh, the processes with with remember we uh, have talked before about uh, the different transmembrane region and it is having a transmembrane region at the end point so it's kind of true that it's uh, having a coil coil domain of 195 to 257 now uh, it is two heat uh, is found one is for syntax and we know that and here you can see the condition level is zero and condition is none you can click the condition and it will take you to the different conditional prospects you can see the domain uh, and, and how the domain is there and condition means normally when and how these things are actually performed now condition is none is a uh, is, is kind of a default you can stick to that default uh, thing here okay you don't need to uh, worry about that part anymore so that's it uh, so you can redisplay things by scaling you can you can just uh, you can look for the showing text formats you can show in hits and all these things but that's kind of it guys you can get a coil coil section no other modifications no other legends are actually seen in this particular protein this stretch you can see so small stretch is uh, is noticed here uh, that's kind of it if we click here it will redirect us to the page of syntaxing and where exactly those things matches and from where we get the information about those things you can get the idea simply clicking on them you can get those ideas so clicking on this one you get another idea you get the idea of where you get the information about the snare proteins and what are t snare proteins and all these things so how they are related and what are the sections that they are related you can get the idea this is for t snare and if you click this part it will bring us to uh, that syntax in the layer and and that's that's kind of it guys that's how uh, you can get uh, the scan per site results and this is going to tell you uh, from where there is a significance uh, level of match what kind of match is that and we have seen those matches here okay so so that's it that's it guys for ProSight scan and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.